Welcome to linuxhelp.com. For today's topic, I will show you how to configure application load balancer in AWS. And we also see the concept behind the application load balancer. How does it work and how it performs? So first of all, we will see what is application load balancer. The load balancer distributes incoming application traffic across multiple targets such as EC2 instances in multiple availability zones. This increases the availability for your applications. You add one or more listeners to your load balancers. So now let's we see about the load balancer concept. ALB application load balancer designed for microservices. In microservices application, we generally works on routing on the basis of port and path. So now let's jump in and understand what is the load balancing and how application load balancing works. So we can deal with microservices like in this way, where the load balancer is directly interacting with the target groups. These are the two target groups in which uh, there are some instances are there. So every load balancer is directly interacting with the target group. If any request came to this load balancer, it will redirect to forward to that traffic to this target group. But in case of ALB, we have one ALB having access of all target group. We are introducing only one ALB application load balancer and it will forward the traffic on the basis of the path or the port they are getting or the rule which I have applied in this uh, ALB. So when we set up ALB, we configure listeners and uh, target groups. Target group contain grouping of uh, EC2 instances running a specific services, microservices like contacts and addresses I am mentioning here. Here we have two target groups one for the contact and the other for the address. We have two listeners, which helps in routing of traffic and decide which path so that the traffic will choose to forward traffic on the basis of the path given. If the application load balancer getting a traffic having a path of slash contacts, then it will, it will forward the traffic to the target group of having contacts. If in the case of application load balancer getting a traffic of having the address of address path, then it will forward the traffic to that target group which having the address fields. Routing can be can also be done on the basis of the port. It will cover on some different uh, video tutorial. So now let's uh, create two target group on AWS management console. Now I am on the AWS management console. Now let's launch uh, one EC2 instance for an context microservice. We will use Amazon Linux. Select. Now we select all the default configuration here. We have network of default VPC have default uh, subnets. Make sure that you have enabled the public IP here. All the default configuration have been already here. In advanced details section, uh, we will put some user data script here, which will install Apache and uh, create a contact folder here over the Apache. Like this, I am copying this script here from here, which uh, you will see. The yum install httpd hype. I enable the Apache service. Now I have created the contacts directory here using mkdir command. After that, in uh, context directory, I just created the index.html which contains this content and I started the Apache service. Let's copy all the script here and paste here. Now I go to next step, add a storage. 
here I am adding the tag. I have to mention what name for my instances. Next, configure security group. The security group I am configuring here having the access of HTTP port AD. We can also create, a, we can use also the existing security group which have allowed the HTTP port. But I can also create here a new security group. I am selecting here HTTP and allow all the traffic from here. Now review and launch. Yes, HTTP port, TCP port 80 range and uh, for 80 range, okay. Let's go and launch. Now I am not defining any key pair, proceed without a key pair. Launch instance. Your instance are now launching. Go to your instance. You will see instance have been created with the name of contact. But in this, it is a state of pending. It will take some time to all the status checking process. Okay, so now my service is up. Now I'm going to in my instances. So now just copy this public IP. Cross verify that it's working. By default port is 80. And uh, I have created a folder name. Contacts. Yeah, it's accessing. So I can say that's my instance is working properly. Now let's create another EC2 instance for our address app. Let's go to instances and uh, launch instance. Select Amazon Linux. Select A2 Micro instance. Now I'm configuring this instance with totally default setting, default VPC connection, default subnet, and uh, I have enabled the public IP. Now for this instance, the user data script will be changed because of I am creating the folder for address and uh, it will also mention address here. Next, added storage, leave at is default, add tag, call it as a address, configuring security group. I am working on, now I will choose the last one created security group, HTTP 80. Now review launch. I don't want even any key pair. Launch instance. View instance. You will see here it is in pending state. It will check status after it will be up. Now my address app instances came back to up. I will check, I will cross verify it. Copy this public IP, paste it, by default port is 80 and uh, put your path or address, yeah, it's accessing. So now, both instances are accessing. Now let's create the target group and define each instances in particular target group. Now I'm going to create target group. Click here. Choose a target type, EC2 instance type. Okay. Give a name. Name is contact. Protocol HTTP port 80 is okay. By default VPC is okay. Health check. Health check protocol is HTTP and we have to define actual path 
contacts slash index.html advanced health checking status is okay we don't need to change them alter them now click next okay create target group it's created now go to target group click on targets now you have to register the targets click on register target and select the one instance of contact include as pending below register pending target and register target now your instance is added to target group the status is unused it is showing unused because i haven't configured my target group to the any alb application load balancer so now create another target group create another target group using ec2 instance give the name for address and the path should be address slash index dot html click next create target group now go to in that particular target group register target from here and select the instances of address including include as pending below register pending target now register target i have selected the targets i have created the target group and every target group have a particular instance so target groups are ready but we need to connect this target group to any alb so the next step is to create uh, alb go to easy to load balancer and create load balancer we are going to create application load balancer this time click create and give any name here i am giving linux help IP scheme is uh, internet facing IP address type IPv4 and the load balancer is HTTP and uh, listen port on 80 the default I am selecting here default VPC and uh, availability zones I am selecting all the availability zone okay click next configure security setting this will ask for the HTTPS SSL certification. I didn't pay the service for the SSL, so that's why this page is empty here. Leave it. Now select a security group. I am selecting the security group which have allowed HTTP protocol using the AT port. Now configure routing. Define the target group here. I am using existing target group name. The first target group I am creating with the contact. It will by default fetch all the credential here, just like contacts index.html. Now register target. Review. Now check all the settings, what you have done before. Yes, everything is okay. Now click create. The load balancer has been created. Close it. See the listener tab. Now you will see that HTTP listener ID HTTP at port 80. So any traffic coming to the HTTP at port 80, it will be directed to the forwarding to these contacts. So you can edit from here. Click on view and edit rules. This is the by default rule which have been provided here. If I want to add more rules, 
send traffic in some different path i can set rule here click on insert rule add condition using the path the path is slash contacts okay add action forward to contacts okay save it now you can see if any traffic coming with having a part of contact it will be forwarded to the contacts so now i am going to add another rule here click insert rule add path i am giving another path here address save it and forward traffic to address folder at the target group and save it so all the traffic coming with this path it will be directed forwarded to particular target group if it doesn't uh, follow any credential if it doesn't qualify this path is not matching any path here it will be directed to by default rule now go to your load balancer go to descriptions the load balancer have this dns name copy this dns and paste in url and go type contacts yes this will direct you to contact list so if we change path from context to address it should have directed to the address page yes so this is how load balancer will work it can be done in different way using the port in the port method we can say if the traffic coming to the port ad we can set or define a rule that it will be directed to the contacts app and if it coming to the port 90 it should be directed to the address list address app so this is the method the load balancer will work in aws if you like it please subscribe to our channel and also to watch more tutorial please visit our website www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries mail us to support@linuxhelp.com